JSTOR is a great database for finding academic peer-reviewed articles. Get to JSTOR from the library homepage, click on the Databases and Articles button. Then click on J for JSTOR and click on the link for JSTOR. If you're off campus, you'll have to log in with your one login. This is the same username and password you use to get into Canvas. So here's JSTOR. You can type your search term in here. I recommend you do an advanced search. So let's type in our search term. We'll do affordable housing. I'm going to keep it to content I can access because you want articles that you can actually see the full text of the article. And then down here, you can narrow your results. You can narrow it by item type. So let's say we just want articles. We don't want book reviews or books or research reports. We're just looking for articles. You can also narrow by language if you want. Make this English. And you can narrow by publication date. So let's say my instructor wants just the last 10 years. We'll go from 2010 to 2020. Uh, there's more options, but I would keep it to these three for now. And then you scroll down and you click on the search button. So we got almost 2000 results. If you look over here under refined results, uh, you have more options similar to what we saw in advanced search to narrow down the results of our search. Uh, you can adjust the publication date. Uh, you can also narrow by a certain subject if you want. And right now we have it in content I can access, which is where you want to keep it. So let's take a look at one of these articles. If you look on the side, you'll see there's an option to download the PDF to save the article into a JSTOR account you can create for yourself or to cite this article. Uh, you can use these, but I recommend looking at the article first before you download it. So to do that, I'm going to click on the article title. So here's the article. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see it better. To the left, we have information about the article itself. So we have the title of the article, the author, the name of the journal the article was published in, the volume number, the year the article was published, in this case 2013, and the page numbers for the article. If you scroll down even more, we have the abstract, which if you recall is a short summary of the article. It can be very helpful when deciding whether this article will be useful or not. And then over here we have the actual article as well. So you can read the article within JSTOR if you want. Of course, this one is kind of hard to read. Or at this point, if you decide it is useful, uh, you have a couple options. You can download it onto your computer if you're using your own computer. Here's the PDF version of the article. Now I'm using Firefox on a Mac. So if I want to actually download this onto my computer, I click on this little download button and I'll do save file and then I'll actually download it onto my computer. Kind of extra step, but uh, there you go. Or you can email a link to the article to yourself by going to share and clicking on email. So you can also get the MLA citation for this article by going to cite this item. And now we've got a couple options for different citation styles. MLA, APA, and Chicago. So that's how you do a basic search in JSTOR. How to download a PDF of the article, how to email an article to yourself, and how to get the citation for the article.